It started with two radio DJs and a lighthearted prank call to the London hospital where the pregnant Duchess Kate was recovering from acute morning sickness. But today, that hoax took a tragic and unexpected turn when the nurse who picked up the call was found dead under mysterious circumstances. ABC's David Wright brings us this look at the dark side of practical jokes. Hello, good morning. King Edward VII Hospital. Oh, hello there. Could I please speak to Kate, please, my granddaughter? Oh, yes. Just hold on. Um, Thank you. As this prank phone call by two Australian DJs went viral around the world... If this has worked, it's the easiest prank call we've ever made. <laughs> one can only imagine that the nurse who put the call through must have been mortified. It is with deep sadness that I can confirm the tragic death of a member of our nursing staff, Jacintha Saldana. Everyone is shocked by the loss of a much loved and valued colleague. Today, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge echoed that sentiment. Their royal highnesses were looked after so wonderfully well at all times, said a statement from St. James Palace. Their thoughts and prayers are with Jacintha Saldana's family, friends and colleagues at this very sad time. Hello, I'm just after my granddaughter, Kate. I want to see how her little tummy bug is going. Suddenly, that practical joke at the expense of Kate's caregivers... When is a good time to come and visit her? Because I'm the queen, so I need a lift down there. ...doesn't seem all that funny anymore. Clearly, the DJs who were involved in it never could have anticipated that this would happen. I don't think they even thought they would be successful. Today, for the Australian DJs who made the call, major backlash. Their station had already apologized for the prank Wednesday. But today, the station's Facebook page got bombarded with outraged messages, some saying they have blood on their hands. Twitter and YouTube have helped make this a golden age for practical jokes, amplifying humor to a worldwide audience. One example currently making the rounds is this Brazilian TV footage showing people trapped all alone in a broken elevator, only to find they've been joined by a spooky companion. Part of what makes it so funny is that it plays to a universal human fear. Wouldn't we all react like that? What these producers do to try to make this a little funnier is they often add a laugh track. So the laugh track, the people laughing in the background, sort of signals that this potentially bad situation, this potentially mean thing, is actually okay and hence funny. Without laugh track, it's oftentimes hard to delight in the misery of others. Less funny are jokes that target one individual in what could be construed as a mean-spirited way, such as Wayne Houchin, an American magician appearing on TV in the Dominican Republic last weekend. The host unexpectedly set Houchin's hair on fire. His face is burnt. The magician suffered serious burns. A practical joke can in many ways be a way to tease someone, or you could bully them. Sometimes even a friendly joke can go too far. In 2004, many fans of MTV's Punk thought it was funny when actor Chris Klein arrived home to find his house under siege. A fake Hollywood SWAT team in this case, under the direction of Punk host Ashton Kutcher. But earlier this year, someone punked Kutcher by sending a real SWAT team to his house. The prankster had told police there was a home invasion in progress. Some of Kutcher's household staff were detained at gunpoint by real cops with real bullets. Authorities call it swatting. It's become something of a mini fad. Among the other high-profile victims this year, Miley Cyrus and Simon Cowell. Clearly, the Australians never expected their prank to have deadly consequences. I think that this nurse sort of got caught in the crossfire. Very clearly, it's the case that the royals were the target. Mel Grieg was a rising star in Sydney, getting the radio show earlier this year after gaining prominence as a fun-loving contestant on The Amazing Race. Figure it again, Bob! And it still smells! Now she'll have to deal with the fallout from this. If you think about it, there's another obvious person bound to be hurt by this particular practical joke. The anxious royal father-to-be. His mother will never know his children because she was hounded by the press. Now more frivolous attention. I am the queen. Bow for me. <laughs> Bow for me. And tragically, another life lost. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Los Angeles.